Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we are going to cover the top five video marketing myths and video SEO. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Mishlu Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return filing, I personally recommend that you contact Jeffrey Ressler, CPA at 561-237-5264. That number again is 561-237-5264. And you can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Decker sent you from this podcast to receive his special rate for listening to this show. Thank you very much. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro Podcast Show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning in to my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now let's cover a quick few announcements before we get started. Like I start every show, I show my gratitude and appreciation to all my listeners out there and people who are supporting me and giving me feedback and what a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. I'm also really excited about you all helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network or retweeting or whatever you might do to be able to get the word to go viral. You know, my weekly listener base is growing a great deal week after week, and that's the greatest payoff my listeners can do for me for giving back for my time and efforts and putting in this show because I really don't make any money. My sponsor just covers my cost. So if you like my show and you find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post a comment, leave a comment, uh, leave a, a review, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. I also want to make sure that I let you know that I have a new website that I've launched more recently. Recently, it's a membership site and it's free and it's an awesome resource of covering total online presence. So it's free to all my listeners and anybody to get the message out. It's called Ezine Generator. That's E Z I N E G E N E R A T O R dot com. That's Ezine Generator dot com. You can sign up for free to use it. It's a great resource. Uh, if you'd like, you can even post your own RSS feed so you can build links with it. Uh, there's also a, a subscription service uh, part of it that has several diff different types of services that you can uh, hire me or other people that I'm uh, in business with or affiliated with. And... Um, you know, all the prices are very reasonable and you get a lot of really great service from some really great professionals. So check out ezinegenerator.com. Also, I am giving away a free ebook. I have a book here that was written by Deborah Elderkin, who was one of, on one of my past archive shows and it's about 16 success strategies. Uh, and it's a great book. You know, it's, it's an and I would say, a a collection of really successful people in a single book talking about their success strategies. So uh, you can get this book for free if you go to or click the link in the description of this video or audio and go to my iTunes site platform where my show is and give me a review and a rating one to five stars. Hopefully you give me five and subscribe there on iTunes. I'm really pushing on my iTunes because it is the juggernaut of podcasting. And if I can get more subscribers and reviews on there, it'll obviously push me up in my social uh, proof and credibility and ranking within iTunes, which builds uh, in the back end, uh, my member base or listener base. I greatly appreciate you because remember, you are part of what makes this show a success. So let's get down into the show. Today's show is all about video marketing and the five myths of it. You know, if you aren't using, and it's also about SEO, I'm sorry. So let's talk about the begin with the five video marketing myths. So if you aren't using video to improve your brand visibility online and boost your SEO efforts, you should be. Every business has a website and is fighting for prominent search engine presence, but there aren't nearly as many businesses fighting for a YouTube presence. 
That means that creating and posting videos provides you with more opportunities to target specific keywords. Many businesses are hesitant to create videos. Hopefully by clearing up some video marketing myths, you will feel more confident and willing to move forward with video marketing strategy in the future. You know, no, you probably think, well, nobody will watch it. Well, marketing is about being where the people are, right? Well, people spend up to 20 hours a month on average watching videos online on sites like YouTube and Hulu. There's a reason why YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. Some people prefer to learn visually and find it more entertaining to watch a video as opposed to reading a blog post or an article. As long as you have something interesting to say and provide value with your video, people will watch it. It's one of my favorite ways, and like I said, that's why I chose to be a podcaster than necessarily a writer. It's just my choice of format, and not only you know that... Uh, it's just, it's more fun and I love being able to take other people's podcasts and take it with me on the go, in the car, maybe uh, to work out, go to the beach, wherever it might be if I just want to burn some time and be what I call info entertained or infotainment. So, you know, most people think, you know, my video has to go viral. Well, it's extremely hard to achieve a viral video. According to Pixability, two-thirds of all videos get fewer than 1,000 views and only 1.7% get more than 100,000 views. Just because your video doesn't go viral doesn't mean that it isn't having an effect. The focus of a video marketing strategy shouldn't only be on the number of views that a video gets. It really serves a much broader purpose. Um, you know, the next thing that people say, think is it needs to be up to Hollywood standards. Mm, no, nah, not really. You know, let's get real here. And, you know, that's what it is, being real. If you are a multi-billion dollar company, that's one thing. But, you know, if you own and operate a small business and nobody expects you to have a video that looks like and costs like a few thousand dollars just to produce and just came roll right out of Hollywood. You know, a marketing video needs to be professional looking and have a proper sound and image quality and provide value in order to keep people engaged. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't rely on everything. Some people really like just being entertained for the entertainment value if it's done with somewhat quality and some, you know, say ingenuity in mind. Now, today, we're fortunate enough now with, I would say, iPhones mostly, is uh, having cameras and uh, portable cameras, being able to whip them out at any time and, and get, you know, grab content if it's interesting. And that can work just fine. Your sound might not be as well, but if you have some, you know, good equipment and editing software, you could obviously amp up the sound and adjust it and reprocess it to make it work. Of course, it won't be just like if you were speaking in stereo, but uh, it sometimes can serve the purpose. And, you know, there's also like numerous free and inexpensive editing programs available that you can, you know, help you get the job done. Um, remember, you know, videos need to be short. Uh, there is a common misconception that a marketing video shouldn't be longer than a few minutes or you risk losing the viewer's attention. The truth is, is that there is nothing wrong with including some long form videos in your video collection. They shouldn't be long, but they don't all need to be short either. Do whatever makes the most sense for the content. If you need more than two to five minutes to get your point across, that's okay. Create videos that have a wide range of lengths for quick promotional videos to longer videos that are educational. If you, you've been following my archive podcast shows, you'll see my long show, I think, is like 42 minutes. My shortest show is as short as three minutes. It just depends, you know, I guess on the, the color of the week <laughs> or the flavor of the month. But it's just, depending on the content I pick, I just need to get a, a, a certain point across. It. And sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes it doesn't. So, uh, I like to, in the future, with my new e-zine generator podcast, try to keep it under eight minutes. Uh, and it's a different type of uh, format and platform that I'll be using. But I want to take the eight-minute approach because typically people who are watching television between commercial breaks will watch television for eight minutes. Next time you're watching television, click the time, uh, like a stopwatch, and see that the average between commercials, except toward the end, they start getting shorter and try to cram in as many commercials as they can by coming back for like a minute or two and then going back to five commercials and then coming back for the last three minutes of the program. You know, that's kind of the cliffhanger, you know, hold it on tight and sometimes the best, uh, I would say, uh, 
uh, commercials are seen the most at the back end of a program. And then, you know, most people think video marketing is, uh, it's expensive. Well, as uh, was already mentioned, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on production. You also don't need to spend thousands of dollars on promotion. Promote your videos through your established marketing channels like email newsletters and to your social media fans and followers. And if you have the resources to do so, think about paying for a promoted video on YouTube. The costs aren't nearly as high as paying for Google AdWords. In fact, there are other uh, pay-per-view like networks and uh, that you can buy pay-per-views for as little as a penny, a penny. So uh, I would do some research on that. And I don't have the link in the description to share with you to be able to point you in the right direction. Maybe I will in the future, depending on when you uh, check out this uh, this um, this the show. So I'm going to go into the second part of this this program, and this is just going to be a short little stint on video marketing agenda for SEO. So in order for you to have a successful SEO campaign, you first need to have a quality content to obviously optimize on your website or blog. And content doesn't necessarily need to be text-based. Videos can help your SEO efforts too. In fact, videos are great because in some cases they may attract a whole new audience, not Everybody wants to spend time reading an article or a white paper, but they may be more inclined to likely to watch or listen to a short video or podcast. Now, here are four steps in creating a video for SEO. Film. For most, this is the hardest step because they don't know what they should be filming or think that they don't know anything about anything that's worth filming. <laughs> there is plenty of business to film. They can interview employees, interview clients and customers, or provide a tour of their establishment. Uh, I would say a B2B company that participates in trade shows, speaks at conferences, or offers webinars should film each of these events. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. If a target audience member would benefit from it or find it interesting or informative at all, it should be filmed. Edit. Okay. Well... You got to edit. When filming, it's likely that there will be a lot of excessive uh, things that are just not necessarily needed. Let's get to the point. Simple editing software can be used to make a quality video. It's best to try and keep the video short, break it up into segments if you need, because not many people watch anything longer than five or ten minutes. I will tell you realistically, uh, from my experience doing the podcast, my average show is probably about... I would say 20 minutes, 22 minutes. And uh, from the retention uh, analytics that I see off of YouTube and uh, Lipson, I can tell, and also on Stitcher, I can tell that the average person is listening to almost 70% of my entire broadcast, which so it tells me if it was a 20 minute program that people are listening to most likely up to about 14 minutes of my program, but that's on average. So that means that one person might listen to it all the way through 100%, and then the next listener might say only listen to it 40 halfway through, and then that would only become, that would be like 75% of the show. It would average out to about 15 minutes. So you see what I'm saying is not everybody will listen to it all the way through. Some people will listen to whatever they need. After they feel like they've gotten enough, they just bail out. Uh, and then just create some more content to bring it back again. Um, the next thing you need to do as far as steps in creating video for SEO is to upload and optimize. Video sharing sites have made it easy to upload video content for free. Remember, there are more sites than YouTube. Upload your video to every sharing site and optimize your sharing site profile along with the title and description of every video using targeted keywords. Let me repeat that. Upload and optimize. Remember, video sharing sites have made it easy to upload video content for free. Remember, there are more sites than YouTube. Upload your video to every sharing site and optimize your sharing site profile along with the title and description of every video using targeted keywords. So what they say is use the targeted keywords in the title, use the targeted keywords in the description, use the targeted keywords again in the way you tag the business. And so and then if you are using it and putting it on, say, your blog, use targeted keywords on the blog page itself so you go even deeper. And finally, the last step in creating a video for SEO is 
Share, share, share. Videos can rank in the search engines, but it will take a while. So share your video with your followers and social media, within blog posts, and in your company newsletter. The more places that the video can be seen, the better. This helps for link building efforts. As long as your video offers your target audience some kind of benefit, they will be more likely to share it, which will increase your social signals and build your link portfolio. So, um, hint, hint. Uh, I'm winking at you right now, and then you just can't see me. Uh, would you please uh, share for being so clever like I am uh, this uh, particular show and get it out to more and more people for me? I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, that's the top of the show, uh, or the bottom of the show, I'm sorry. And uh, if you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. I do. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, leave a review, and please definitely subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support because you are part of what makes this show a success, no doubt. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.